Yeah man, what go on? Welcome forward to the channel and you don't know Queenie come out this morning and I make people them know say yo she buy a new house at England now it's a different end she depend and she has say yo I watch at her and thing but you don't know Sandy and Bones TV ask the Queenie from where they but you know star when I see Queenie and do your link up from where they you know we mostly see doing at the street with some Yo, when you depend if you're new around here, remember to like, comment, and share, and subscribe to the TV. Yeah, man, and we'll go hear a queen say, if I win arm jar down, nothing for my mama queen said, speed, you see it? Jesus. May I move around two weeks now and still can done. Oh my God. Hello, right, Chris. Is that what I look for me? I watch over me, I watch chat me, I will miss me, I will cast see me. I want to talk about me, the queen is here. I don't want to come help with the whole heap of curls in them. I'm going to have in them a new property. Oh, God. My walk, my walk, my walk, my walk, my walk. Oh, my God. Life goes on, my dear. Mm. New house. Still a tidy up. My back door outside. Watch out. I will chat me, I want me chat them back. We don't have no time for the world and them mama. That's enough for no one. But they are relax and work out, sleep, work out, sleep, eat shit, tidy. And I'm here, my life. That's all I know. I'm Ross, do I? <laughs> Chris, ex wife, children, mother, father, sister, and brother. Come here. I will only do this just once. Because I love Chris and I respect him. And I will not go down certain road. I left my house in Portmore. November. I got the key November. I bought my own house November. And I moved into my house I think November 11, 2012. I met Chris December 9, 2012. I met him the Sunday there about, whatever that date it was. I met him, invited him to my house, realized that he is alone, separated, alone, lived by himself. And I invited him to my house. I realized that he and his ex-wife separated, I think, 2009. I worked the bamboo. The taste of it was nice in my mouth. And I decided that I want to have this bamboo for the rest of my life. I asked him, why he and his wife separated because after working his bamboo he got up in the morning and gave me breakfast which was rather strange because in my book you are a good man and why would his wife left him he said he does not know why the wife left him they went to counseling or whatever but the wife left him and i said to him i would really want to spend the rest of my life with you you know but I want to talk to the ex-wife first to get her side of the story. Because my ex-husband, previous woman, tell me things about him and I did not listen. And as a counselor now, you were, we were taught, never you take up the man until you hear from the woman first. I try every method to talk with the ex-wife. She would never take my calls. I, I contact her on Facebook. I contact her on every medium. She would never speak to me. I tried to talk to the mother to find out why they separated. The mother don't like me, Chris, because I chat too much. I tried to talk to the father. The father run me away, not chat to me neither. The only somebody that I had conversation with was Chris brother that they don't get along so well it took me over four or five years trying to get to the ex-wife to find out what it why did they separated and to no avail 
I only get to talk to her three months after we got married. I spoke with her and she said she never see no message, she never get no call, and she never knows that I did a traffic contact her. Five years. She claims that she never knows that I traffic contact her. When I met Chrissy, he lost his job from the army. Could not get any job. This, that, 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 that. As a result, I went to the credit union, trust a car, and licensed it and gave Chris to run taxi because every week he got to court, they would lock him up for child maintenance because the ex-wife would bring him to court every week, every week for maintenance. If I had known of those problems, I would not have dated him. But Chris didn't tell me about it until the bamboo overextended its use. Mm. Try to bring the children them home. Them take over my son's room. Them not have any respect to me. They step out of the house and gone as them like. And I said to Chris, don't bring back your children to my house. I don't want them here because the previous relationship I have with my ex-husband, those stepchildren were very bad and I don't want to go down that road again. To make long story short, I came to Canada and I sponsored Chris and brought Chris here. So for Chris children to be on social media, telling social media that I break up his mother and father and I take away them father from them mother is a whole new level of mental illness. That is crazy. For them to be saying, I didn't help them and I, I wasn't the one who supported them. That is another mental health drama. Because everything that you're not getting in Jamaica, in, in Jamaica from Canada is from me. I am the ticket to the success. So everything you want to get for Pitney, everything you want to get for school, everything you want to get for graduation, everything you want to get, it's coming from me. So, the reason why your father leave your mother is in your family circle. So you better ask your mother. But you don't get me involved in our no mix up becoming a tech woman husband you understand i met chris four years after him and his wife separated so the secret why your father left your mother because chris would not have left his wife is the wife left him so go ask on a mother why is it them left she left on a father because you know something Uno don't want me to talk because I love Chris too much and Uno don't want me to talk. And I will not say anything more on this because I love Chris too much and I need to get the bamboo at nights in order to sleep. So if Uno there Jamaica and I envy one or think of going to Canada, it is all me. It's not Chris carry me to Canada, it's me carry him here. It's not Chris help me, it's me help Chris. Chris meet me with five, Chris meet me with three cars and me buy two more make five. Says that on a father help me is me helping. And I hope I make myself clear. <sighs>